Welcome back here at noon covering the economy while the government uh, talks about raising its debt ceiling. It's really the last thing you and I want to do, right? In fact, uh, things have gotten so tough, it's time you put down that stick of gum or even skipped your morning coffee. Well, let's explain this. Everyday expenses, even the little ones, are killing our personal savings. So says Steve Orr, investment advisor and published Arthur. Steve, good to see you, sir. Good to see you, Doug. And your book here, The uh, Noisemakers, here it is, why they keep losing your money and how to make it stop. I want it. I don't like my money being lost. Who's they and but why are they losing my money? It's a combination of things, Doug. You know, if you have a, a government corporate collusion type thing and you have investment people telling you the same thing over and over again, mm -hmm. but you keep losing money every five years, it's not working. And then between that and the amount of money that they're spending in the government, it causes things to happen that in an adverse way that also causes you to lose money. So what I try to do in, in the book is point out how this big picture works. Because we live in the richest country in the world, and they don't even teach and us how it works. We, we're, and you see our government struggling with it right now. Yeah, they are. Again, before we forget, it's called the noisemaker. Steve Orr, you don't want to forget about that. All right, you've got some unique math. Let's show this real quick, because you're saying if we just cut some of the basic everyday stuff out of our life over, what, a 30-year period? 35-year time period, yeah. We'd all be millionaires. Yeah, so you, what do you got here? You know, Doug, what happens is we go to Starbucks every day. Latte. And, and not that I don't like Starbucks. Good stuff. <laughs> But, you know, if you just cut out things like lattes and energy drinks. Those little bitty energy drinks, right, all right. And a muffin. And cut down on your lunch budget. You don't have to cut out lunch. But just spend, you know, instead of spending $15, try to say, save $8. $8. Of it. And if you do that, you know, over a time period at 11.5%, you will have $1.7 million, almost $1.8 million that you would have at retirement in a 35-year time period. Don't care what age you are. So you're not saying don't do the 401k. Hey, don't do an investment and walk oh, into no, Steve's no, no, no. office. And say, hey, help me make money. We can be doing this ourselves, just right. cutting and, that out. And think about this. If you do this at work and your company matches it, you'll have $3.6 million. So there's a lot of ways to do it, but people give up. They don't understand how it works, and they keep doing the same things over and over again. Remember, there's more investments out there besides stocks and bonds. Mm -hmm. And folks need to realize that, you know, if you just do the same things that you've always been taught, the same way you've been taught, you'll probably mess it up. You know, they tell us, you know, that you're in it for the long term. Well, you're in it for the long term, but you're not in the same thing for the long term. You have to be ready to move when times dictate that you move. What we're looking at today is possible bad times in the economy. Well, to stay where you're at today, I think, would not be a good move. You need to move out of the stock type assets and into that precious metal type. And you can be in stocks, but precious metals, oil and gas, you know, um, real estate, oil and gas, uh, natural resources and things like that. And they're going to do pretty well in a bad economy. You know, I don't know if I can go into my late 60s without eating lunch or having a muffin. <laughs> we want you to have peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> it's gonna be tough. <laughs> Read all about it. Uh, the Noisemakers, Steve Orr. Steve, good to see you, sir. Yeah, thank you very I'll much. I'll tap his brain during the commercial break to see if he can help us with this whole debt ceiling thing, too. All right. <laughs> and for even more money-saving tips, log on to KSLA.com. We have uh, a Lifestyles feature page online where you can find all kinds of economy-related stories and videos that help you get the most for your money. You're watching coverage you can count on. Right here at noon, KSLA News 12 at noon. Back in a minute.